everybody. It's been a long time since I have popped on and done videos, so I thought I'd get on and do one for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just going to be going out to dinner and a little trip to like Target or TJ Maxx uh, this evening with my husband. I'm going to be putting on some of this spackle. It's the Under Makeup Primer by Laura Geller. And I've had this for a while and I haven't really used much of it, but I do remember using it when it first came out, not this bottle, but when the product first came out and I didn't really like it. I kept my makeup on for a very long time. At the time I was teaching preschool and you know, when you're running around with those little ankle biters, uh, you need something strong or something really good that's going to keep on makeup or else all that running around it just comes off okay put it all around especially kind of pushing it into areas that I need a little bit more help with it with I should say Next thing I'm going to do is use my Makeup Forever HD. I am not, I'm pretty well down to here. I think it's sort of hard to tell with uh, this bottle, but, but the way I can kind of not hear it um, tells me that. And I'm looking for, here it is. This is one of my favorite um, brushes to apply foundation, and it's the, um, by Real T Techniques, and what is it called again? Expert Face Brush. Now, I've had this one for a few years now, and it really has held up nice to washing and to use. I'm going to just do like a makeup look for you that I have been doing quite a lot. I have really been into skincare the last, oh, few months, and I, I've gotten my skin to a texture that I really like. It's not overly dry. It's sort of back to the way it used to be where it was a little more of a normal, slightly oily. And what I do is I just put tiny, not even like a whole pump, and I work it up and do it that way so that I'm not putting a ton of foundation on my face. I just feel like my skin reacts better. I don't like look older. I think for me, if I slap on foundation, you know, like a ton of it, to me, I feel like I just look older. And I want to see a little bit of my own skin popping through. I'm looking at my mirror here, and then I have a mirror on my vanity. I should do a vanity tour um, sometime for you. I don't think I've ever done that. And I have a really nice, like, setup that I, of um, folders, folders, drawers, where I keep my makeup. It doesn't always stay as nice, but I try. And every once in a while, I just kind of go through it. Just did a big purge of, um, <clears throat> excuse me, looking at my timer. Oh, okay. I was going to say this is more than 56 seconds. I just did a big purge of makeup. I sort of look back at some of my old videos. I've been on YouTube for a number of years now. I think it's like five or something like that to get the exact count and um, I know that I haven't been consistent but I do have a lot of videos up um, I was more consistent when I first started because my health wasn't giving me as trouble much trouble as it does now okay this is um, a concealer that I absolutely love it's by Clarins it's hard to read that but this is the instant concealer and I have it in number one this works really nice. If I forget to set underneath my eyes, it doesn't get all, um, what do you call it, creepy looking. 
and um, there's another term to that and I can't even think of it but I'm sure you know what I mean very nice and I used to have a lot of pigmentation here but because of the current skincare and I will do um, a video on that but the current skincare has really helped my skin I just absolutely love what I'm using I'm going to just use my brush there and then I'm going to grab um, a beauty blender just this one um, and I'm just going to wet it a little bit with the MAC Prep and Prime just a tiny bit I don't feel like stopping the video and going to run it underneath the faucet and then just press that concealer into the areas where I get dark or red just want a little bit more of a coverage going lighter on the foundation has just been really nice on my skin it's made me realize too that I don't need a ton of foundation if I keep looking over here it's just my camera has a using my um, phone because the camera is awesome um, and then I'm just looking to make sure that I don't go too much over time. I mean, I don't have a limit, but I don't want to make it an hour long. Okay, and as you saw, I just kind of take the rest of that concealer and just go over the areas again. Like, I get redness here from my rosacea. Um, and so I just put a little extra, not too much. And then the next thing I'm going to do is let that just set. Um, I don't set it with a powder, but I am going to set my under eye, and I forgot to take the powder out. Oh, excuse me. I just rearranged my drawer here. Sorry about so close to the camera. Okay, I'm using my hourglass. I've had this for a while, and I really like it to set my under eye. I might, when this is done try the Laura Mercier um, brightening powder if any of you use that um, especially if you are like over 40 if you use it and like it let me know down below because I have never used it I like this because it really sets it and I don't get the little you know the lines um, I can't think of what that's called first video in quite some time well real video where I'm putting on makeup okay so um, I might go back with this and maybe set just in the t-zone I don't like to use uh, like a powder anymore I just find that the foundation does a good job now I'm going to go use some colors here from a palette that I purchased that I love this one this is the TARDIS Pro and um, if any of you have not seen it, there's a big mirror over here and there's all sorts of beautiful colors. And I'm going to do something here with, um, I'm going to start with this color that's called Trendy. And before I do that, I'm going to put on a, a paint pot by MAC and this one is in Vintage Selection. And it's sort of like a very light coppery gold. And you can even use this just as a one color, put on some eyeliner and mascara and off you go. It's a really pretty color. I don't think that it was limited edition. No, it doesn't. I'm not sure. But there's a lot of those uh, CEOs that you can look for this one like i said it's called vintage selection and i'll try to remember to at least put down the makeup items that i use i know i not i haven't done that in the past but i'll try to remember to do that and i just put that on my lower lid lower movable lid and i want to just take this and get off a little bit that went into the crease area because i don't want it in my crease and you can use like a disposable sponge to do that too. 
I'm going to go into this, into that trendy, which is a beautiful blue, like aqua, a little bit of green in there. And I'm, I put that on my lower lid. Movable lid, lower lid, whatever you want to call it. And you can use your finger too with that. And I'm going to do a, two nice coats of that. I picked these up at Target the other day, and they're the Eco Tools Makeup Brush Cleansing Cloths, and they're really nice. Um, I, I don't use cleansing cloths for my face anymore, but I picked these up to just kind of take off the color in between, and it saves you from having to do a big, you know, deep cleaning very often, especially if you're into using different colors. I'm going to take this brush and... It is, uh, what's the maker of this one? It's called the Eyeshader Brush, and it's by Royal and Lang Nickel. And I wanted this in a giveaway from Yay or Nay Nicole. And then I'm going to go right to this color here, which is called Bold. And it's the second color from the bottom. Now, Tarte's found, uh, foundations... Uh, eyeshadows are known to be um, really nice. They do have like that kickback when you put your brush into the palette, but the best thing to the best the, the best thing to do for that is just to kind of knock it off with your finger or against the palette itself. And I'm just putting some of that into the crease. And I'm also blending it as I put it in there. I'm really enjoying this brush a lot. It's a very nice brush. Okay. And then just take my little cloth, take the color off. And as you see, and even with that other color, it really got it off nicely. Now I want to put a little bit of a dark color on my, like the, the outer V. So I'm going to go into this color called Edgy, right here, and it's sort of like a neutral brown, neutral dark brown. I shouldn't blow on it, but it's going on my eye. But if you're doing makeup for someone else, I would never blow on it because you're putting your germs onto their eye. And I just go and start on the top part of like that V. And then go into the palette again, get some more color, and go on the bottom. And on the bottom, I kind of lift up a little bit. When you're of a certain age, I think it's best to do your eye makeup as a, you know, lifting it up. And if you get a little bit, you can just take your beauty blender or anything you want and just clean that up like that. And then a little tiny bit more, and I'm going to just put it in the crease, but in the outer portion of the eye. Brush that off. And this brush I used was the 208, 217. I hardly ever say the names of brushes because brushes are very, like, personal. Some people like certain brushes and some people like others. So I just tell you sometimes what I'm using. And I didn't tell you the color for that. This one I went in the second from the bottom or the third from the top, second from the top. And the first one called Vintage. And it's, um, it's sort of like a combination of vanilla and like a cream color. And I'm just lightly putting some on my brow bone. I may need to do my eyebrows, so I won't be doing them today though. Very simple, easy. Now I'm taking my uh, Physician's Formula, and I forgot to apologize about my hair. Um, I'm letting it dry as much as I can possible by air, and then I go back and put a curling iron or straighten the iron through, and I also have a little like um, 
a lounging outfit on. Oh, we're doing pretty good. It's 1506. I love this line, liner. In fact, I need to pick up a new one. They come in this brown and then there's a black color too. And I'm just doing a light finish line across the top of my, the top, didn't mean that finger, my top lash line. And in between, I like to shake it to get more of the product. I just take my time when I'm doing my eyeliner. I tried many different um, like pen liners like this, pen liquid liner, but um, I don't like any of them as much as I like this one. Uh, Kat Von D makes one that is pretty nice, but I still, I'm going to drop the cap, I'll get that when I'm done. It wouldn't be a video of mine if I had dropped something, right? Um, now I'm going to use this uh, product by Rimmel. It's called Brow This Way. And I'm going to get the little brushes out so I don't drop those. It has a powder and then the wax. And I've just been using this to just put a little bit of def definition into my brows. I go in with the little brush that it comes with into the powder. And I just have a little areas where... Uh, I have like little tiny sparse holes from just my hair, losing my hair there. And so I'm just kind of filling it in. But I'm not complaining about my brows because I do have nice ones. You know, I have a little sp sparseness, but honestly, if I forget to do my brows or fill them in, it's not a major tra tragedy because they are um, pretty full. I'm pretty lucky with that. But I always say, you know, um, when women were tweezing their brows really thin, I never did that. I, I kind of, I grew up in the time with like Brooke Shields and um, we're similar in age. I think I'm just like maybe a year or two older than her. And she always had the big, thick brows. So I guess I grew up at a good time where role model a role model did have thick brows and i'm grateful for it now that i didn't go and tweeze the heck out of them or groom because i've always used the little shavers to do my brows yeah i've had them wax but they grow it grows back too fast and my mom used to tweeze them when i was you know started off tweezing them when I was about 11 or 12. I have to put you in hold for just a moment. Okay, I'm back. Um, that was my husband. He had to call me because the traffic was crazy. Okay, so I filled in my brows with the little brow this way. And my brows are, pr are pretty dark. So I did the, I used the medium brown for this. Um, I find when you have like dark brows, uh, unless you have like jet black hair and jet black brows. I don't ever use the dark brown. I always do use medium brown. I'm looking for something here. Here we go. Okay, another thing I like to do is uh, line my upper waterline. And one of my favorite pencils to use is the Makeup Forever. Um, what are these called? Makeup Forever Waterproof Extra Long or Waterproof extra and this is in the color uh, number m60 which is a nice brown and i'm just going to go right in the water line and some people do it where they lift like the lid with their finger i just do it like this i know it probably looks weird but it gets the job done for me and then i don't smear the eyeshadow I already have placed. And it just gives the eye, the eyeline, gives the eyes a bit more definition. Okay, now I'm going to curl my lashes. 
and I had recently went back and purchased a Shiseido brow curler, brow lash curler, and I actually got this at the um, uh, Nordstrom Rack, which is like the store that they bring things that they can't sell in the store. Um, they're not really seconds, they're just stuff that's maybe last season or something. And I was really lucky to find this one. Um, I know they're like $25 at like Dillard's Nordstrom's. And I think I paid nine or 10 for it. So it was a really good deal. And I do like this best for my eye shape. I have uh, almond eyes with a slight hood there. And just the way it's curved just suits my eyes better. Another thing I've been using is this uh, Voluminous um, Primer by L'Oreal. Um, I don't use the mascara, but I find that this primer is very nice in giving my eyelashes more length and more um, thickness to them. And I'm just kind of bending down a little bit to look in my mirror. Now the thing with this is that you can't really go in and then pull it out like you do with mascara. You just do it at the very, that mirror is too magnified, do it at the very tips of the lashes. And it picks up those little tiny lashes that you don't even see. Like that. You know, when I first started using this, um, I made a mistake and did it like mascara where I would go in and pull up but then it gets too close to the eyes and it would kind of rub off onto my contacts and that was horrible. Now I'm going to let that dry for a minute and what will I do? Okay, while I let it dry I'm going to put some of this It Cosmetics blush. This is a gorgeous color. It's the CC Radiance Ombre Blush in Coral Flush. And I just love this. The only problem with this, and just using this tulip type of brush by MAC, and the number is 138 or 133, one of those, is you have to be very careful when you are applying this because it's very easy to put on too much. I know you can always take it off, but I figure if you can prevent from having too much, then why not do that? So I just take a light tap in there, knock it off like that, and then I do it like this right along my cheekbones and then up here giving that lift. And I hope this video won't be too long for you. Um, I'm going to have to piece together the first part before my husband called. Um, but if it is long, maybe you can watch it and like watch a little bit one day and then the next day. Um, now I'm using the Roller Lash by Benefit. To be honest with you, um, this is a nice mascara, but it isn't my most favorite that I've ever had. I'm just kind of using it because it's not terrible. And... I just want to use it up and I have another like uh, maybe two weeks left to it and then it'll be three months and I'll just toss it. I do abide by the three month rule. I know there's some people that don't and it is your prerogative. I only do it because my eyes are very sensitive and I do wear contact lenses. I have um, an illness called Sjogren's Syndrome. And it's harder to spell than pronounce, believe me. And it's one of those diseases that sometimes you get it if you have lupus or an autoimmune disease like lupus. And basically what happens is my white blood cells um, attack the moisture producing glands in my body. So my mouth gets very dry and my eyes can get very dry. Um, and it also causes my eyes to be quite sensitive. So I don't go over the time of three months because I, I have before and then 
I'll get like an eye infection and it's just horrible. So I did the top, just a couple like coats. And now I want to do the bottom with the mascara by MAC that I've used for quite some time. This is the MAC Extended Play Lash. I always recommend this for people that have little lashes or just for the bottom lash line. It's really a good mascara. And although they do not advertise it as waterproof, it is. And it lasts. I mean, you have to go, you really have to take it off with the eye makeup remover or a good cleanser. It, it won't rub off. And I always use it for the bottom lashes. And I think what I'm going to do is use it, put a little bit on the top, kind of give them a little bit more of a volume. Forgetting words here. But, you know, that's the way it is sometimes. We forget little words. And my channel has never been about, you know, being like a, you know, totally perfect. That's why I don't go in and edit every silly little thing out. Okay. Now I'm going to use this highlighter. And this is by Wet n Wild. Um, it's called the Geometric Highlighting Powder, and I wish I knew what the color was. It doesn't give a color, it says Geometric, and then this is the one that has like the mauve and the beige and the white. There's another one that has another color. I really think that the um, drugstore brands are really, you just tap it in there and knock it off. They really have, for the last two to three years, maybe even more, they really stepped it up with getting, producing, and selling some nice products. And I like this a lot because it is not like a real glitter, glittery uh, highlighter. It's just perfect. As you see, I put it like the top of my cheekbones, put a little bit coming down my nose, and I'll put a little bit on my cupid's bow. There you go. See on my cupid's bow it does it's not like real white. Alright, what is next? Um I was gonna do a little bit of contouring with my butter bronzer and also to warm up my face. I love this product. It is the butter bronzer um in bronzed I don't know the color I heard recently that there's like a lighter and darker one but I don't know this is pretty light not too dark I love the texture and the smell is just wonderful it just smells like you are at the beach and I don't live far from quite a few beaches but unfortunately because of my sun sensitivity Due to having lupus and a couple more autoimmune diseases, um, I am not allowed to go and lay out. I know it's not good for you anyway, but you know, I still miss it being able to go to the beach during the day and not have to like wear a gigantic hat and and put a ton of sunblock every five seconds. <laughs> but that's life. When I go in the sun, if you're wondering, for too long of a time, I get uh, nauseated, I get very bad headaches, and then within a day or two, I will break out with real strange looking rashes. So it's, it's not worth it. But I think this summer, even this spring, we're going to try to find one of the beach chairs that has like a little canopy on it so that we can go by the beach and... Um, Leads, I can sit in the covered area. Last thing I'm going to do is put on some lipstick. This is one from MAC I thought I'd put on. And the color is called Amorous. And it's a satin. And it's um, sort of like a plummy color. I like to combine coral blushes with plum lips. I think it looks really pretty. I know it's like a warm and a cool color, but 
I will often do that even for my eye makeup. I like to combine it. And I'm not a big fan of lip liner, although sometimes, you know, if I use a red lip, do a red lip, I will do a lip liner. I might, you know, try a few. I, I just don't have any that I have bought and, and really like. I think the one of my favorites is the one by MAC that I use. It's the um, Cherry. I use that when I do red lips. So that's it. That's the little basic color. Um, if I wanted to, I could go back in with my uh, like big fluffy brush and go into this um, diffused light and just go into the areas where I get red. I get red on my chin whether I have like 10 tons of foundation on or concealer. It always just gets red. And mind you, I take like I have a two medicated creams that I use for my rosacea, but that's life. So I'm going to go style my hair and um, I will try to pop in a picture at the end of this to show you what I look like when, um, when we go out. I hope that you're having a great uh, morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever, whatever time of day you're watching this. And I'm going to try to do uh, be a little more consistent with my videos. Uh, I have a few things going on with my health. I have a blog and I will list it in the information area. If you ever want to check it out, I talk about like my thoughts and my current, what's going on with my health. Um, sometimes I put a little beauty in there. Um, I'm going to be incorporating some beauty. Uh, if you want to check it out, check it out. That will be great. I also have all my social media um, channels down below. <clears throat> Pardon me. Please check those out. And if you've come across my channel and you like this video or you're interested to see more uh, newer videos, um, there's the subscribe button and there's also that little bell. I hate that I have to go through the whole spiel, but you know, I everybody would like more people to come and watch them and interact. Uh, leave me some questions down below. Say hi. Um, tell me what, like, you, if you've done any changes with your makeup routine. Let me know what you're doing with, you know, like the difference, like. For me, it's I'm really into skincare and I'm going lighter on the foundation and, and really like a lot of the face makeup going lighter on it. So let me know what you are trying or changing in your makeup routine or skincare. And I will be doing a skincare video very soon. It'll be my next video. I'll talk to you, I'll talk to you soon and uh, have a great day. Lots of love.